Hey guys, I thought I'd do a really quick update and talk about this meta modernism cult of sorts because this is a really dangerous, retarded kind of cult pyramid scheme behavior that Kashyyyk Vikas is a part of and other people I know. And unfortunately, things like the Warden Post is trying to flirt with. Well, I've been able to find the so called Wikipedia page of what these weirdos are attracted to. And accordingly, the Wikipedia definition of metamodernism states is that metamodernism is a proposed set of developments in philosophy, aesthetics, and culture, okay, which emerge from a reaction of postmodernity, but there's no definition there. One definition characterized metamodernism as meditation between modernism and postmodernity, but it's still modernism. Another similar term is post-postmodernity. Okay, great. Um, so the word is played around and there was a lot of liberals using it, but I don't want to focus on these people. I want to focus, oh my God, Shia LaBeouf. We now know who's, and we don't want us, oh my God, Zadie Smith, David Foster Wallace. Oh, horrible, right? Well, I really want to get to cultural acceptance because I was able to find down this Hansi cult of sorts. Well, Hansi's not a real person. So that makes me wonder who is under Hansi's account texting me? Because that's really interesting because Hansi's not a real person. Who was it actually Daniel Gortz and Emil Friss, you know, texting me? They want to like contact me and do something for their organization. I don't know. But they seem to be a retarded group of Facebook retards because I was able to find. So they wrote under the pen name Hansi and published their so-called prank pamphlet, The Listening Society. Um, it's very vague, but Gortz did be on TED Talks in 2018. And the funny part is that's when I was actually talking to that group in September of 2018. So it all coincides at that thing's value meme. So it has that kind of pretentious, like, oh, here is his TED Talks, by the way. And here's the real Hansi guy. That's him. And, um, oh my God. So that's, that's the real Hansi. So as Danielle was, Daniel was texting me. So the, the, the issue at hand is that he basically has this little outline. It's not a really Wikipedia article. It's more like using the name, but Brett Cooper, I finally found him. Brett Cooper of the abstract organization an internet-based think tank focuses on sociological meta theory, specifically abstractions as a cognitive process and of social process of conflict. What the fuck? Leads to the merging of, um, uh, I don't, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. And he's a retard. Uh, Cooper's article, the abstraction of Ben Bratton, who's basically a Ted talk speaker. Um, but let's look at his website. This is his website. The abs, this is Brett Cooper's website. The abstract organization Tato is a meta think tank formed to provide global solutions to systematic problems. Okay. That's very vague. Specializing in abstractions and advanced thinking process and social critique. This is really fucking cult behavior. Who are we? Brett fucking Cooper, fucking indie rock faggot. Let's check up his blog. Um, so he just posts on Medium, and he's um, he's basically joking with this artistic faggotry here. I don't even want to give him a support. Here's his dumb podcast. Um, he only gets fucking eighty views. Jesus, conflict minerals, white nationalism. Uh, Mr. Keith Warren, our geopolitical analyst and general news expert. Now, here's the funny part. He's trying to be joking, but he's still a facetious, gay-ass art project modernist faggot. Expert, how are you this week? No. Said. This week, Keith, uh, firm. We can buy into. I think there was some university in England. That okay, had... let's go to his gay art film next. 
Oh my god, why am I doing this to me? Things I do for love. Oh, fuck this. Politically modern. Just imagine what being centered. Oh, what a retard. Ass. Like he's he's trying to joke. He's trying to joke, like make this joke thing, but really he's like dumb and stupid and he's like Ugh. yeah this guy is running a scam or some joke website of sorts he, he's a theory fiction retard like i feel like he is running some kind of scam organization or at least some prank of sorts but he's actually sincere about his cult-like behavior you, I don't think my philosophy has changed that much on him. He's still retarded. Videos. Oh, he's just citing Zizek. He's giving. Like he's. This is like really facetious shit. What we do. Like, I don't know. I'm now starting to believe this is a joke. There's no way he can sincerely believe this. Here he is. He's a retard. No, he doesn't. He's making this shit up. He's making this shit up. Yeah, he's retarded. You're no one to How about this? Join. Yeah, because this guy's a fucking idiot. He's basically playing a joke on everyone. So, I found this Cooper retard. And, okay, here's what I also want to go on. 2018, they were in some podcasts. Um, here's what I really wanted to get at. Douglas Lane of Zero Books has also explored the topic of political metamodernism on his podcast with Luke Turner. Whoop-dee-doo, Lane gets a little mention, which is actually John Hunt, um, but I don't know where Lane is. I mean, funny part, they tried to force me to join uh, Lane and shit like that. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't know what to say. Like, these people... Okay, here's his wiki article. Here's... I don't know why they didn't attach his name there. But these these guys are kind of like cat ladies. Douglas Lane literally fucking stalks me all the time. He literally does. And, um... I don't know. They're weirdos. Okay, back, back, back. Yeah, it's all just modernist retards but i i found it okay i found the dumb organization i found his facebook page and who's it by parallax views jg michael faggot ass jamie curcio my good old buddy old pal haywire and um i don't know why i follow you but okay whatever um this is worse than this fucking kid by the name of there it is. Nitzan Herman, this retard who sadly I went to school with. The talks behind. Let me see what he talks about. Art shit. Whatever. Give a fuck. We can wait for nothing. They all talk in this like facetious way. That does not coaching. That's right, coaching. That's right, music. It's 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 all this dumb shit. It's all this dumb fucking shit. You know, you're gonna have to explain something to me, Dan Daniel or Kashif, because it's like this this is now a joke. This is a big fucking joke. So my only assumption here is watch this video. Why postmodernism is so toxic or cheek of Hansi's metamodernism, this kind of cult. I mean this guy's probably doing it. It's some pyramid scheme for sure. I commented simply on his video, Metamodernism is a cult. He does not make any sense, and I would compare him to Charles Manson. 
It's a group of immature kids trying to understand postmodernity, but are also hostile towards it. Good news is that they only thrive on Facebook. Nowhere else. And it's true. So yeah, if they think they're playing a joke on me, joke's on them because they're all cultish and retarded. Thanks for listening.